You guys gotta hear this baby purr. Listen to this. <laughs> Four cylinder baby, bring the pink slip. Woo -hoo -hoo! That's right. Oh yeah. Hey guys, I'm back. It's been three weeks since you last saw me and I have a good reason. I had my wedding and it was a fantastic time. I absolutely loved it and I appreciate you guys sticking around and uh, not leaving the channel. A lot of you guys are really loyal and I enjoyed talking to you guys in the comments. So what is going on right now? What are we going to see in this video? I've had this project for about two years now. I worked on it my entire time in the Air Force. And if you guys noticed in my previous videos, I had this trailer behind me. It is my trailer in the background and I've never shown you guys what's inside of it because I was saving it for a project in the future. Now, I worked on this project for about two years while I was in the Air Force and I got away from it because I started on the motorcycle video, boat project after I sold the bike, and then the next project, which is the chaparral videos we're doing right now. Um, regarding the chaparral videos, we are almost done with that. And we're just waiting on the weather to clear up. Been some really bad weather the past week, so the next video is gonna be a water test. But what is inside the trailer? Now, I know a lot of you guys who are subscribed are hot rod guys, motorcycle guys, anything like that. It's not a motorcycle in there, but I think you guys are really gonna like what you see, so let's go pop this bad boy open. Whoa, all right guys, I am here with the trailer, about to pop it open. Let's find out what's inside, yeah. You guys like it? Do you? What are we working with here? All right, I see some storage, everything, but what, what's that? Oh man. <laughs> now all you hot rod guys, I know you're really gonna like this. I don't know if you can tell what it is yet. Let's go open the side door, get a better look. I'm walking. Let's go open up this bad boy. Oh. You guys have a better idea yet? <laughs> well, you guys have seen what's inside the trailer. I'm gonna clear this junk out of the way. That way you guys get a way better look at it and we can talk more about what exactly this car is. Let's do it. Cut the time lapse. You hot rod guys out there, muscle car guys, you probably already figured out what kind of car this is. This is a 1988 Mustang. And it's more referred to in the car community as a Fox body Mustang. You guys have probably heard that term before. They're those really boxy, edgy looking 80s Mustangs. But this is a 1988 Fox body Mustang. And this was a huge project in my life. And this car is basically what fueled my passion for restoring stuff, doing projects. And I mean, I've been doing that stuff since I was about 14, but this was my first big boy project and cool story behind this car when I went in the Air Force I got stationed down in Florida and when I got stationed down here I was going through a rough time I was talking to my old man and he said he's like hey man I got this Fox body back here I don't feel like working on it do you want to haul back to Florida and work on it of course I do what's he talking about <laughs> I was going through a rough time and we hauled this down to Florida and I was hiding it on one Air Force base and another Air Force base and I had military police show up my door saying I can't do that it was it was a pretty wild ride and if you guys remember Nick from my old videos, my good friend and my old roommate, he actually helped me do a lot of the work on this car. It's gonna be very hard for me to sell this car because I'm pretty attached to it. A lot of you guys probably know watching at home, once you have an attachment to a car, it's very hard to get rid of. But I'm like I said, I gotta liquidate, I'm restarting my life. So as much as I wanna finish this thing, it's just not worth my time, it's not worth the money, and I could use it for other assets. But you guys are probably wondering, Mac, what is in this car that makes it so special? Why do you like this car so much, man? Well, I mean, take a look at it. First of all, it's beautiful. <laughs> Let's get in and talk about about the car. Whenever I first hauled the Florida, um, it wasn't running at all. It's an old small block Ford. But here's the thing. It's not just any small block Ford. It is a custom machine block made by Dart Racing and it is bored and stroked out to a 7 liter. Originally, these cars only came with a 5 liter. So we have a Dart Sportsman block 7 liter in a super light car, which just makes it awesome. I was running a blower on it. That was running about 10 pounds of boost. Um, it does have a nitro system in it. And I was running about 150 shot of nitrous. And with the nitrous to the wheels, it was running over a thousand horsepower. And this thing was absolutely crazy when I had it running. But well, we got it running and I actually brought it to my tuner, Adam. Uh, he owns Innovative Street Performance in Valparaiso, Florida. And really good guy, he holds two world records. Super smart guy when it comes to working on cars and tuning them. And I brought it to his shop and he has a hub dyno and he's like, hey man, he's like, what's going on here? I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, he told me, he's like, this is a four lug. And I was like, oh, I know, man, I know. That's the only downside about this car is that it's a four lug. 
and in the car community in the drag racing community four lug is not the way to go it's just it can't handle the power so he talked to me about that and then he told me man this all the performance mods on this car, they were probably put on there in like 2008 and it was really outdated, outdated ECU. It's an old motor. Well, the motor was awesome. However, it's an old motor they put a multi-port fuel injected system on. So it wasn't possible with that old technology. It just wasn't safe. It wasn't really reliable. So that got me thinking, Nick and I, we were sitting around one day, we're like, man, let's just tear apart the Fox body. Let's just get after it because the engine bay was nasty and the motor was nasty. So we went ahead and we tore the whole engine out. We shaved the whole engine bay. Um, repainted the motor clean it up put a new intake on it i sold the blower because that thing was old this car has just been on the block a few times so another thing that's really special about this motor it was made by keith craft performance it's running comp cam diamond pistons diamond rods eagle crank this thing has got it going on and whenever i repainted the motor i actually put a really nice accessory kit on it and it just cleaned up the motor so good can't believe how good it looked man it's just awesome but inside the car this is actually a super clean box body chassis like the interior is in phenomenal condition the seats are still brand new looking uh it's got a five point roll cage it's a bolt in it's not a weld in that's kind of an issue that guy's lawnmower is loud man gosh dang an awesome platform to build whatever you want on and originally i was the guy before me he ran at the track he also drove it on the street this motor is so big in this tiny engine bay with the blower and all of his sporty mods he had on it it just had really bad overheating issues i tried doing twin high cfm output fans and it just seemed like nothing works so that's why we made the, that's why we made the decision to pull the trigger and say hey let's rip this out let's redo this thing kind of make it a fast so yeah now that you so yeah now that you guys kind of know the history behind this car and why it's such a big deal to me this is going to be really hard for me but i gotta get it sold i might list it on racing junk probably racing junk maybe facebook i don't know i'm hoping to get good money for this thing but i do got to go pick up two things today because this is my primary objective today so i gotta put this front bumper on and i'm not gonna put it on all the way i'm just gonna temporary mount it so my main goal here today is i kind of want to temporary install this bumper temp install it just put two bolts on put on the front and i need to go to my old house i need to grab the hood and the transmission so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna throw this bumper on then we're gonna drive over and i'm gonna show you guys the transmission and also the old hood for it so let's do it if we got any fox body guys in the comments let me know down below i love fox bodies are awesome cars they're just fun to work with a lot of my subscribers we got about almost 500 subscribers now you guys know i'm doing boats right now but on my channel you've only seen me work on the motorcycle and the boats so was, you guys are probably wondering, holy crap, this kid's doing everything. This is ridiculous. Why? Why? There's something wrong. I know you guys are probably mad at me. You're thinking, man, we would love to see you build this car. But I promise you guys, in the future, we are going to just find some awesome projects. Way cooler than this. Way faster. So we're going to get there. I promise you. I'm not going to let you guys down. Also, this car is going to be for sale. Clean title in hand. So if you guys want to buy this from me, shoot me a message. Let me know in the comments. Leave your email in the comments and hopefully we can work a deal out. I'm here in Florida, so you might be able to buy this car from me. And I might just sell it as a rolling chassis. I could just sell the engine by itself. I have all the supporting documents for it where it was built, all the build sheets, and also the transmission. So we can sell it as a bundle or we can sell it piece by piece. Rolling chassis, engine, trans. I have everything to go with it. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if any of you guys are interested. And go ahead, just leave your email, and I'll email you and get with you. But yeah, like I said, let's get this bumper on. And then after that's on, Let's go grab the trans, let's go grab the hood, let's do it. All right, so you guys have probably seen this car in my videos in the background. This car kind of fell in my lap. I paid a very small amount of money for it. And let me tell you what, ever since this whole, ever since we entered this whole new political climate and gas prices went up, I've been driving this thing nonstop. It's like 35 MPG, five speed, roll up windows, manual mirrors. This thing's awesome. This is Prism made it. I am back at my old house. This is the house that I lived in when I first got the dorms in the Air Force. Um, it's kind of, it's always kind of weird being back here. I still got the transmission here and the Fox body hood. So let's see if he, he should be home. Is it still the same code? Hold on, is it open? Ooh, still the same code. If you guys remember from the motorcycle videos, we used to build the motorcycle in this shed actually. Oh, Casey. Uh, oh, there it is. Fox body hood, folks. Oh, man. I know how many times I almost threw this thing away. <laughs> I thought about making a cool video and, like, just shooting it with a few rounds, you know, put a target on it. Make a sled out but, I mean, I'm going to put it on there. It's just the only problem is that big hole and it was for the blower. So. Oh, is it that one? Is that it right there? Yep, there it is right there. It's under there, so. We're going to 
try to clear this thing out of here real quick. So I'll be right back. sitting here probably a year probably a year tko 600 transmission awesome transmission shifts super smooth uh it's built for a lot of horsepower but i think the game plan here is we're going to take it back to the house and i'm going to degrease it get it cleaned up take some pictures of it for online so we can sell it all right we are loaded up we are headed out care about wreck your truck do it <laughs> you got insurance for a reason <laughs> we're clear Is that gonna work? It looks like so. It helps a really good guy. We were in the Air Force together. We were crew chiefs together. And we just became friends on the flight line and hanging out. I used to have a Duramax back when I was like 19. And that was my first car payment I ever had. And that was just, I learned real quick how much of a waste of money that is. I thought I was cool, you know, but I'd rather be saving money. <laughs> if we got any Duramax guys, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you got. I love a good, love a good diesel, man. I love it. Oh, you all right? You good? <laughs> all right, the camera is okay. So I just got back to the house. I got the trains and the hood in the back. So let's pop that out and take a look at it. Bam. Man, she looks good. Got the hood back there. It's a good looking train. It's nice. Little uh, bell housing, high speed, not too bad. So after I get the pictures of it, I'm probably gonna get my wife out here and she's gonna help me lift this thing up, put it back in the trailer. She's not doing anything anyways. <laughs> Let's get after it, yeah! Got the wife out here, got the transmission in the trailer, and I also got the hood sitting on there. And I haven't seen this car like this in a while, man. Ah, uh, the more I put it together, the more I don't want to sell it, but, oh, she's so good looking. It's gonna be hard to sell this, but, um, now that we got it all together. Uh, well, the point behind why I'm doing all this today is because now that we got it all together, it's gonna look way better when I go to sell it. It's not, as, it's not in as many pieces, and it's gonna be more of a, hey, you can finish this car, it's gonna be easy, it's not that much work, it's doable. I gotta get all this stuff back in the trailer. That's about it for the Fox body today, but the next thing I gotta do today, so for the guys that have stuck around for the entire video, what am I doing? What is going on? You're asking yourself, why is Max selling everything? You guys can't sleep at night. I know it's okay, but I'm gonna tell you right now. So listen up. My wife and I, we're getting out of the military. We're hitting the reset button on life. And the past four years of our life has been absolutely crazy. She was in Japan for two years. I lived here for two years. And now that we're getting out of the military, we just really wanna take a break and take a vacation. So we're selling everything we have. We are buying a Ford Transit van. We're gonna live in that van for about two months and we're just gonna travel the country take cool videos get cool pictures just enjoy our young life while we don't have kids or dogs or anything like that so how does that play into the hundred thousand dollar project or journey we have going going on right now i'm about to sell the boat i'm selling everything else i'm going to find a really good deal on a transit van and whenever we build this livable transit rv van those vans they usually sell for a lot more money once you deck them out like that so we're going to do as a project together i'm going to show you guys every step of the way i'm going to be buying the van here shortly because while i was filming this video i actually sold the 2015 ford fusion and i actually made some good money on it so i was pretty happy about that today is july 24th or 23rd i believe and our goal is to be out of here september 14th so we should be out of here by september 14th and we will be taking videos for you guys and pictures i should be posting like two to three times a week what's coming after the road trip are we going to be moving back to florida what are we going to be doing we are going to be moving to houston texas the reason i am moving to houston is because we're waiting for the housing market to go down a little bit the reason i'm moving to houston car scene in houston is just absolutely crazy there's way more people way more money way more opportunity there living here in florida is nice but there's not as much opportunity here in florida as there is in houston um, there's just way more potential in houston like i said i really want to start a business and i almost started one here i had one going i didn't tell you guys about kind of swept it under the rug so i think it's really time to move somewhere that has a lot of opportunity and you guys can join me on the journey of starting my own business and i really hope that goes well i have a really good feeling about it if you guys want to know more about the journey if you guys want me to make a video more in detail about what we're going to be doing on this trip let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see anything more from me let me know in the comments below to my subscribers out there i really hope you guys aren't disappointed that i'm buying the ford transit van i'm going to deck it out because it's not a hot rod a boat or a motorcycle or anything like that but i promise you guys in the future like i said before 
we are going to have projects like that it's going to be a wild ride and i really think this channel is going to blow up it's going to be a great time and speaking of that we're almost at 500 subscribers i checked this morning we're at 480 if we could hit that 500 goal that would be amazing i would really appreciate that and i love talking to you guys in the comments let me know if you guys want to see anything from me in the comments i really appreciate that that would be awesome i met some really good friends here on youtube especially the boat work play channel those guys are really cool and some other guys we've been going back and forth and they've been kind of making fun of me especially about the boat fire video so that was pretty fun i really appreciate if you guys like this video as well because we want to get this info out to as many people as possible because i want to teach you guys stuff on this channel i want you to learn and if you guys want to see any videos about like money business anything like that let me know in the comments below i'd really like to help you guys out i hope you guys enjoyed seeing the fox body and seeing my beater car i drive around every day this has been kind of a more personal vlog video also before you guys go i love talking to you guys on instagram you can follow me on instagram at slick shifts and i always do my stories on there and I ask you guys questions i usually get some good dialogue going so you can follow my photography stuff on there my videography stuff i'll also you also get updates regarding what i'm doing that you want to get on youtube so it's a pretty cool place to hang out and get to know me a little better i enjoy you guys watching the video today and you guys kind of got to see more of my personal life today so it's kind of been different if you guys like this video let me know so i can make more of these in the future i really appreciate you guys watching i hope you have an awesome week i hope your weekend's even better if you guys want to see my other content head over to the channel check it out i'm mac this is slick shifts stay busy guys i'll see you later